The overall goal of this procedure is to detect the genome of herpes simplex virus type 1 in sections of trigeminal ganglia from latently infected mice by fluorescent in situ hybridization. This is accomplished by first inoculating the virus in the animal lip, followed by a 28-day incubation period during which the virus gets established in the trigeminal ganglia. Next, the trigeminal ganglia are harvested, embedded, and cryosectioned. The sections are subjected to several preparatory treatments, including the key step of heating them in a sodium citrate buffer. Finally, fluorescent in situ hybridization is performed using herpes-specific fluorescent probes. Ultimately, results can show the positioning of the viral genome inside the nucleus of individually infected neurons through the use of confocal microscopy. In many cases, the study of a virus life cycle requires the use of animal models. The main benefit of the technique represented here is that it provides data at the single cell level using an in-situ fluorescent hybridization approach. The ocular model of HSV infections reproduces most of the aspects of the natural history of HSV-1 infection in humans, that is, the natural host of the virus. The primary infection is made in the oral tissues, and then the virus progresses from the lips to the trigeminal ganglion, that is, the main site of HSV latency in humans. Combined to immunofluorescence staining, this method can help answer key questions